hello 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 welcome welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining i am so happy to be here with you today it is a pleasure it has been a pleasure um to do these videos to encourage you in your walk with god to keep you pushing in your walk with god to keep you going in your walk with god um we are entering a new year 2022 oh my god God. We just want to bless God for his grace, for the grace that he has given us for this, for this past year, for 2021. Now we are entering into a new year, 2022. And it's a big deal. It's a big deal because, you know, at the beginning of, of a new year, it's like a fresh start. It's like you resetting everything, you know, to, 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 you, you have a chance, you know, to, to reset everything. You have a chance, you know, to have a new beginning you know so it's something that's very important it's something that's very good and you know we are to start the the year with god we are to start the new year with god you cannot leave god behind you know he has to be your beginning and he has to be your end you know god is the alpha he is the omega so make sure when you are starting your year your 2022 make sure that you start that year with God. Make sure that God is that thing that you know that that God is that that thing that set your year. So many people have lost their life. You know the past two years, 2020, 2021. People are still losing their life as we are speaking right now. So it is really, it is truly, you know, I hope you understand that and I hope you get it. It is truly by the grace of God that you are here today. It is truly by his grace that we are still talking today. So you don't want to take this for granted. Each and every single day that God has given you, each and every single day that God has added onto your life, it's a huge thing it's a big deal because all the people who have lost their life due to covid you know we did not do anything better than them you know why they die and why we deserve to still be alive why it's because they, god has a purpose for your life it's because every single day that you spent on this earth is because god has a specific purpose for that day on your life so you don't want to waste your time anymore. You don't want to, you know, just live, just, you know, just to, just to add another day to your life. No, you want to live on purpose. Not only you want to live on, on, on purpose, but also you want to be grateful to God. You want to bless him. Like you want to bless him uh, uh, um, every day. Like it was a thousand day that he had added onto your life. Yes, that's how, that's how how um critical it is out there that's how difficult it is now out, out there to survive you know that's how difficult with everything that is going on in the world but anyway um you know it's a new year 2022 is here upon us um and i wanted to encourage you to tell you um in 2022 not my prayer for you my wish for you in 2022 is not to lose your position in god huh in 2022 my prayer for you my wish for you is for you not to lose your position in god let me tell you something do you know that you have a position in god right now you do have a position in god you do have a position in god and i want to say to you again you know all the prayers you know all the sacrifices you have made for god all your fasting all your um waking up in the middle of the night to pray this is what had 
give you, you know, a position in God. This is what you have done to earn this position that you have right now in God. This is what you, it, it didn't, just, didn't just come up like that. Yes, of course, God is the author of everything, but at the same time, you had to respond to God. And how did you respond to God is when you obey him, when he actually asks you to do something and has, no matter how hard it was, was, you actually obey him and you did it. And this obedience had has earned you that position that you actually have right now in God. Your prayer, your crying in front of him, you know, all the good thing that you have done have earned you that position right now in God. And I want to tell you in 2022, do not lose that position. Do not leave that position behind. You want to take that position with you in 2022 and keep moving forward with him and keep going forward with him. Everything that you have accumulated in 2021 is has earned you that seat that you have right now. It has given you, that's what has given you that anointing on your life. That's what has given you that oil that you have flowing in your life right now. That's what has given you that oil. You know, you were not able to hear the voice of God. Now you can actually have a conversation with God, you can actually talk to God and he is talking back to you. That's because of your hard earned sacrifices. That's because you seek God during 2021. That's because you seek his face. People don't just hear the voice of God like that. You had to do something in order for you to hear the voice of God. So I want to encourage you to tell you that thing that you work so hard for, you have to hold Hold on to it. You have to hold on to it like your most precious uh, um, possession. You have to protect it. You have, because guess what the Bible said? The devil, he comes to steal kill and destroy. The devil doesn't have a problem that you, you know, you are so close to God now. He doesn't have a problem knowing that you have earned a position in God right now. He have no problem with that because you know why? He come to kill. He come to steal. So whatever you have, he might not, he might try to get it. He might try to steal it in 2022. He might try to, whatever you have earned in 2021, he might try to get it in 2022 because that's who he is. You know, he's a thief, right? He's going to try to take it from you. This is the reason I'm telling you everything that you had worked so hard for. You had worked so hard for your faith. Do not give it away to the devil. Do not give it away to the enemy. He's going to try to take it. You know, all this hard work that you have done, all this credit that you have, you know, you have to be proud of, you have to be proud of, you know, your, 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 your achievement in God. You have to be proud of them. You know, we are proud of, you know, whatever we have earned, whatever the, the world has given us, we are proud of them. So why can't we be proud of the things that we have earned in God? So let me tell you something, all the hard work, all these hard work, all these hard um, sacrifices, all these crying that you did in order for you to be where you are at right now with God, he's going to try to come after it in 2022. Make sure you do not lose it. Make sure you hold on to it. Make sure you hold on to it and do not lose it. Do not look at other people's spiritual journey. Do not, do not look at what other people are doing. Focus on your own spiritual journey because, you know, you don't know what people are going through. You don't know the sacrifices that people are doing in, in private. You don't know what's happening in their life. But the only thing that you have the control of is your own spiritual journey. So, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Whatever you have earned so far, whatever you have earned thus far, do not let it go. 
Hold on tight to it. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to the word that God has given you in 2021. Hold on to the thing that God has spoken to you in 2021. Hold on to the word of knowledge that God has given you. Hold on to every single word that God has told you to write down in your journal. Hold on to every single one of your dream that God has given you. Do not let anybody come and tell you that it is not going to happen. It is going to happen. You are to protect it. You are to keep telling yourself. You are to keep telling yourself that it is going to happen because if God said it, if God told me that he was going to do this, God is going to God, God is going to do it. So do not let no one do not let no one hold on to every single testimony. Every single testimony that God has given you in 2021, hold on to it and move into 2022 with every single testimony that he has given you. Every single one that he has done. Because a lot of time when the devil come with full force, you might forget. You might, you know, let him talk you into, um, God is, you don't see that God is not paying attention to you. God, you know, God is, God, God doesn't even exist. You know, he comes with these things. What is going to make sense for you in this moment? What are you going to remember in this moment is the test as your testimonies, the thing that God has done already in your life. While you are waiting for what he is about to do in 2022, the testimony is like the little appetizer that he's giving you before the full course, course meal come before your meal come. He's going to give you an appetizer. I need you to hold on to the, this appetizer while you are waiting for your full course meal, okay? So my prayer again and my wish for you in 2022 is to hold, is for you not to lose your position in God. You have worked too hard to be where you at right now for you to just lose it like that. You know, move into year 2022 with everything that God has given you, everything that he has told you, every single thing that he has told you in your prayer closet, everything that you had earned so far, move with them into 2022. Okay. Yes, that that's my prayer for you. So I, you know, pray that um, God will bless you in 2022. God will bless you. God will take you beyond your imagination. God will take you beyond your wildest dream. God will take you beyond anything that you you have even thought about for your 2022. God will take you beyond that. God. Will will do exceedingly abundantly above all you ever think above all you ever think or ask for that God will take you beyond that in 2022 also um, I pray that you will have a closer relationship with God I pray that God will give you a spirit for you to continue to pursue him for you to continue to seek him let me tell you the earth and the heaven will pass away but the word of God will never pass away. Anything that you have earned in God, that's what's going to matter at the end of the day. That's what's going to matter at the end of your life. Your kids are not, not going to matter anymore. Your marriage is not going to matter anymore. Everything that you earn on earth, everything that you had on earth is not going to matter anymore. Is the thing that you have earned in the spirit that's gonna matter that's what's gonna matter that's why it is so important for you to work hard for your spiritual life it's so that's why you have to work hard um to keep your position in god because at the end of the day that's what's going to matter. So already I pray that your 2022 will be a blessing. It will be a blessing for you and people around you 
people around you will recognize that you are truly a servant of God, that you truly serve God. Because guess what? The Bible says this is how people are going to recognize that you serve God. This is how people are going to recognize that there is a God through your life, the way that you live your life, your testimony, what is happening in your life. That's how people are going to recognize it. So this is my prayer for you in 2022. Thank you so much for being a faithful supporter of my channel, for continue to encourage me, for continue to liking and sharing and, and, and commenting on my video. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I do not have enough word, you know, to thank you. You have turned this channel into something that I didn't even, you know, think about. So I just want to thank you so much. Thank you. And have a bless you already. Bye-bye. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.